Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about the people. When I tell y'all, I don't know what happened. I just was tired today. I fell asleep last night around, it was after midnight, I know. But I don't think it was like too late in the morning. I don't think it was, it wasn't like one or two in the morning. Maybe like close to one. But anyways, I remember falling asleep. Um, and for me, it was, whatever time it was, it was early for me. You know, I'm kind of like, I, you know, I, I'm a night owl. And I woke up around six. And I was like, oh, you know, I was like, okay, this is cute, right? Some beaming through, you know, the birds chirping, dogs barking. And um, I lied, I lied in the bed for a, a couple of hours, just, girl, just scrolling on the internet, girl, looking at stuff being nosy and then I got out of the bed and then I made me some coffee and then I was just online shopping <laughs> I wasn't buying nothing but I was online shopping <laughs> I was putting stuff in my baskets hello and I was watching um, a little uh, little bit of uh, Law and Order uh, SVU some reruns and then I got sleepy again around it was around noon and I was like, girl, you are not about to go back to sleep. <laughs> and then some, I don't know what made me go get in the bed. I was like, well, girl, just go lay in the bed. Then you'll be okay. Girl, all I know is I woke up and it was, I think, like four. I felt so disgusted. I don't know what was going on with me today. Anyways, we're here to talk about the people. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. I got a lot to say about this because I, 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 smell, I, I smell somebody has been paid off. We're going to get into it. Y'all will figure out what I'm talking about once we get to that part. Excuse me. So Jeezy and Jeannie Mai's divorce finalized un with undisclosed settlement reached. So Jeezy and Jeannie Mai's um, divorce has officially been finalized after reaching a settlement. The new court documents obtained by TMZ revealed that the former couple, um, who previously had a very public uh, disputes over child custody allegations of ABUSC, and other unsavory details have reached a resolution in their uh, divorce proceedings. The news uh, publication also reports that they have submitted a request to finalize the matter under seal, ensuring that the specifics remain confidential. As a result, uh, the specifics of their agreement will be uh, kept confidential, shielding information about custody agreements, child support, division of property, and alimony from the public. Now, this was posted a couple of days ago before the divorce was finalized. So Jeannie uh, Mai's, uh, Jeannie Mai claims Jeezy is trying to distort the truth after his ex, after his ex and nanny both defend him against her ABUSC allegations. Um, so TV personality Jenny Ma is standing by her allegations against her estranged husband, um, her soon to be ex-husband. Again, this was something that was reported before the divorce was finalized. Um, her soon-to-be ex-husband, rapper Jeezy, has enlisted the support of his ex fiance and his nanny to defend him against ABUSC allegations made by Jeannie um, in their contentious divorce and custody battle. Um, I cannot pronounce this lady's name. Y'all know I am bad with names. Uh, but <laughs> her name is Malette, Ma and I think she goes by Mahai. Ma Girl, I can't pronounce that lady's name. Who shares a 10-year-old daughter with Jeezy filed a sworn affidavit testifying that the rapper's peaceful nature, um, te testifying to the rapper's peaceful nature and devoted parenting. She stated, I've witnessed Jay be a devoted, caring, and present father, child, or daughter, and his oldest child, Jadarius Jenkins, uh, Jenkins 28. Um, for almost four years, Jay's eldest child lived with us, and I was able to see their relationship grow every day. At no point was Jay ever physically, mentally, and or em emotionally um, ABUSIVE uh, to his children or me. However, it's worth noting that in 2020, um, she sued Jeezy, alleging that he failed to pay child support. I mean, child pay the court ordered ten thousand dollar a month child support as well as their child's medical expenses and private tuition. Let me get to this article. She also said this. <laughs> so this was something back uh this was published on july the 9th 2020 by hollywood unlocked so rappers jeezy ex-fiance the woman who 
did the sworn affidavit and said that he was this wonderful man, right? Um, rapper rapper Jeezy, Jeezy's ex fiance is clapping back at his claims that she is jealous jealous of his engagement with the real host Jenny Mai and that she's out to get him. According to Bossup, court documents show that Jeezy's ex, Mahalet Mahi, whatever her name is, is back in court fighting for custody and shutting down his claims. They are fighting over their young daughter and child support. She adds that the rapper is making false accusations in an attempt to embarrass and humiliate in front of the public. She says he has taken a vitriol of lies and slander and trying to take the attention away from his mistakes. She also refutes his claims that she has a full-time nanny and prevents Jeezy from seeing their daughter. Girl, ain't that what he said about Jeannie? That she prevents, that she's preventing him from seeing his daughter? Um, this, this is the same, this is two different women. It's pretty much the same story. Okay. She claims that she's the one who travels 70 miles one way so that Jeezy can see his daughter. She also says that Jeezy prevented their, prevented their daughter from having a relationship with his adult son. As we reported, the rapper accused Mai of being jealous. I'm, I'm sorry, the rapper accused her, not Jenny Mai. She, he, he accused her of being jealous and threatening him. However, she denies those claims. She adds that she has never had manic uh, fits or threatened to KIL Jeezy. Girl. <laughs> and this was, we already talked about this, young Jeezy charged with beating his teen son. Right? This is according to CNN. This was published on um, January the 8th, 2014. Rapper Young Jeezy allegedly beat up his teenage son and threatened to unalive him during an argument 15 months ago. Girl, they, his real name, J. Uh, Wayne Jenkins, was released on a $45,000 bond on Friday after turning himself into a jail. Um, on a grand jury warrant, Fulton County, Georgia Sheriff spokesman Tracy Flanagan said, the 36-year-old artist is set to appear in Atlanta court on January the 29th on felony charges of battery, ter terroristic threats, and false imprisonment, impri Flanagan said. He, um, his son told police the alleged incident at this uh, uh, Atlanta apartment in September 2002 stemmed from a text message he sent to his father. His father walked into the bathroom where he was and slammed his head against a sliding shower door, then picked him up and threw him into the wall in the bed bedroom. Um, the police report said when the teen tried to run downstairs, he was blocked by his father's bodyguard. Jeezy then uh, pulled him back in the room, threw him on the bed, choked him and stated, I'll K-I-L-U, K-I-L-L-U, the, uh, the son told police. He then allegedly threw him against the wall and to the floor before kicking him in the head. The boy's mother called police two days later when her son returned, uh, returned to her. And she noticed bruising and scratching, bruising and scratches on his face. Now, of course, he denied it. This was a this was an article published by TMZ. I'm just saying that, girl. I, I just everybody is on here saying that Jesus and did this, did that, did this. You got the ex fiance girl. You was just down to the down to the court talking about what he was doing to you. Now, all of a sudden, girl, he's just his loving father. Girl, that ain't what you said in 2020, sister. Now, all of a sudden, girl, you sing a different tune. It sounds like the check. Girl, cleared. Hello? That's what it's giving me. Sworn affidavit and all. You show sure singing a whole different tune now, Miss Mamas. He basically said on, on uh, TMZ published this article uh, January the 8th, 2014. He basically said that he didn't he didn't do it. I didn't hurt my son. Um, of course, they never. They, I, I mean, they're they're always going to come out and say I didn't do it. <laughs> so you know, I didn't do it. Um, he says that uh, the mom is brainwashing their son against the dad, trying to squeeze every penny he can get, they can get that she can get out of Jeezy. So you got Jenny out here; she must be lying. You got the ex, excuse me, the ex fiance girl. She must be lying. And now he's saying that it was the son's mama who just trying to get money from him. She must be lying. Girl. Believe, believe what y'all want to believe. Okay. Girl, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. 
Who else we talking about? What else is next, baby? Mm, baby. I said, now what in the girl? So Tory Lane's wife. I said wife. I'm the wife. <laughs> you know, y'all be happy to say that. I'm the wife. <laughs> and she's a side chick. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> I'm the wife. What Yandy was doing? Okay. Girl, Yandy was on all that carrying on, girl. <laughs> was out there in front of that prison getting maced. For Mendezes. Girl, fighting prison, fighting for prison reform. Girl, turned around and asked that man. Girl, well, he held her down at the Rosewood reverse and he told that lady, girl, to her face on TV. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I said, girl, this is why I be saying y'all look like some fools. Girl, man, girl, Yandy was out in front of that prison. Yandy got maced. Girl out there on the front line fighting for her man. Girl fighting for the black man. And girl turned around and asked the black man, her husband, girl, would you hold, would you hold me down if the roles were reversed? And he told her, I don't know. Hey! Girl, he's a good man, Savannah. Shout out to y'all. Anyways, Tory Lanez, um, wife files for divorce amid his 10 years prison sentence. Um, so Tory Lanez and his wife are reportedly heading for a divorce. TMZ reports that the incarcerated artist's wife of almost a year. So he must have got married right before he went to jail. Um, filed for uh, filed for divorce, uh, filed her divorce petition last week, girl. Uh, documents state that she uh, cited irreconcilable differences as a reason for the split. God did not know that man was married. Girl, out of all the things that have been have come out regarding him, Meg Thee Stallion, what's the girl, Chelsea, Kelsey, um, K uh, I was about to say Caitlyn, <laughs> girl, Kylie, all the mess, all the people with her names being involved in this mess, Grain never heard nobody mention a wife, girl, girl, she must, she she was probably dumb to marry him, but she ain't too dumb. Hello. She girl, she pulled a Phaedra real fast. You know, I, you know, I got, you know, I've had, I have a lot of stuff to say about Phaedra Parks. Girl, Miss Thing ain't stupid. Girl, Miss Girl, as soon as Apollo, girl, as soon as them doors closed, <laughs> as soon as those prison gates closed, girl, Miss Phaedra was filing for divorce. Okay, I know that's right. Hmm. 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 Oh, girl. Child. Nene Leakes, ex-landlord, attempting to garnish RHO, RHOA alum's bank account over $25,000 uh, $25, debt. So, neighbors, this is messy. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes faces a tense legal battle with her landlord after alleged, allegedly not paying $22,000 in rent for her business. You know, we've been talking about this, girl. Um, according to court documents obtained by In Touch, um, Trust Bank was uh, served with a with a summons by landlord MPG Sugarloaf, who had uh, been granted a sum in the five figures for alleged overdue rent on Nene's now closed swag boutique. Mm. The summons informed um, Trust of the debt Nene owes. It is instructed that the bank. Uh, it, 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 I'm sorry, it instructed the bank to immediately hold all money, including wages and other property, except what is known to be exempt, including property in safe deposit box boxes or similar property that you hold belonging to the defendant name above uh, beginning on the day of service of this summons and including the next five days. Girl. In their August 2023 lawsuit, MPG uh, Sugarloaf asserted that Nene has signed a lease in 2017 during the pandemic, uh, Nini shut down their store. Nini briefly opened the boutique in 2022 before finally closing it for good. After the reality star left, her landlord claimed she didn't pay the $22,000 in rent. Nini mentioned the case on social media post. In a social media post, the ex uh, RHOA star claimed that her late husband, Greg, had signed the lease. Greg signed the lease, not me, he ain't here. <laughs> Oh!
Y'all think the realest shit I done ever heard? <sighs> Greg signed the lease. Not me. He ain't here. That's what she wrote. Y'all do know, though, for real, that even if somebody dies, um, their debt just doesn't automatically go away. I don't think, I don't know if this is every state, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I remember reading something online like, so like if you're married and your husband has a debt, um, I guess depending on how it's set up, you know, that debt doesn't automatically go. Just don't think that just because, basically the story I'm trying to say is just because, don't think that just because somebody dies that their debt automatically is wiped. So if you're coming into some money, right, from a person's death, due to a person's death, that you're supposed, that money should be taken to pay off their debts first. And then I guess whatever is left over, you're supposed to get. But you know, the girls, the girls, the girls, <laughs> Girl, if you ran across a little bit of change, if you was blessed in an unfortunate situation, would you pay off this? Would you take that money and go on a vacation? <laughs> okay. And cry and cry on somebody's island. <laughs> okay, why you drinking? Why you drinking Top Chef look, baby? Hello. On um, the reality star went silent in court, even though her landlord in Atlanta claimed to have served Nene with uh, legal documents at her one million dollar condo. Therefore, the judge issued a default decision in November twenty uh, twenty three. The total amount the total amount granted to the landlord was twenty five thousand six hundred and thirty one dollars, which included twenty thousand twenty two thousand dollars in outstanding rent plus interest. <sighs> Nene, girl, Nene, gonna be sh girl, Nene, honey, you you gonna you gonna you gonna mess around, honey, girl, you gonna look up one day, and girl, it's gonna be twenty two thousand twenty. What? How much is it? Twenty five thousand six hundred thirty one dollars missing out your account, girl. Having your having your wages going is is not fun, girl. I ain't gonna tell the story right now because I already told it before. But honey, girl, I looked up one day and Sally made that. Girl had took me for my money. Now I can't even get mad at Sally May because she had been trying to get get in contact with me for a couple of years. <laughs> Baby, I looked up one day. I was at work, honey. I had just got paid. I was great. It's Friday night in the feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's latest night. Girl, that's latest night. Girl, I'm singing the wrong song. Girl, it was Friday night. Oh, just got paid. Friday night. Hey, honey, that's the song I was singing about, but I saw the singing Ladies Night, girl. Shout out to Ladies Night. Girl, I just got paid, honey. I was about to have a good time, baby. I looked at my chick. I was trying to figure out who is, who is Miss, who is Garnish? Girl, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot how they, I forgot the name. But I looked at that chick, honey. Girl, they had got, girl, when I tell you Miss Sally May was swinging me every which way but loose, girl, that was a mess, baby. They had me. When I say, baby, they gagged the shit out of me. <laughs> I bet y'all learned my lesson, though. I bet you I learned my lesson. I bet you I learned my lesson. I well, let me say something, baby. When they told us that the the extension for you know not having to pay your loans was over, baby, when people send me an email, I guarantee you, I sent that email back the same day. Hello. Girl, I'm not playing with them people no more. Girl, them people, when I tell you, girl, girl, all you got to do is just get in contact with the people. <laughs> just, like, just get in contact with the people, girl. They ain't going to bother you. Just let them know, girl, you ain't got no money, and they're going to go about their business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Girl, they got bigger fish to fry. It's girls out there owing two, one and two and three million dollars. Girl, they got doctors and all types of shit out there they're trying to get money from. Girl, they ain't worried about us. <laughs> Anyway, it's that Nene girl. Pay your pussy bill, girl. You're going to look up, girl. You're going to have $25,000 on your account, girl. You're going to be looking real crazy, girl. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And girl, a girl, now you might not, you, you ain't dealing with, you ain't dealing with Sally Mae. But girl, you better be happy you ain't dealing with them student loan people because they was damn sure going to get their money. They would have got their money a long time ago. Now, Fish, who's trying to get her money, I don't know what she going to do. But girl, you're going to look up one day and girl, you're going to be missing $25,000. <laughs> okay? But like I said, girl, you might be all right for a little, a little while longer because you ain't fooling. You ain't fooling with you ain't. Let me say something, girl. The people who gonna always get their money. Hello, girl, Miss Sally May. Okay, girl, Miss Child Support. Hello, and Miss IRS. Those are the three bitches you don't want to fuck with. Okay, because they gonna get their money. They gonna get every. 
penny of it, <laughs> okay? So just be careful, okay? Now, if you're one of them girls out there who, <laughs> girl, no shade, no shade. I know everybody got to just get it how they live. But if you're one of them girls who out there scamming, and girl, you ain't using your real information, then girl, you could probably run around and get, and you probably won't get caught. But if you live in your life legit, and you got one social security number, hello, one date of birth, one first, middle, and last name, one address, girl, they gonna find you. They're gonna find you. Now, if you got CPN spoken all around the United States of America, and girl, about 16 aliases, and girl, about 25 mailing addresses, girl, you bouncing around from, from city to state, from city to city, from zip code to zip code, then girl, you, they might have a hard time finding you, <laughs> okay? But for the girls who only got one social security number, hello? The ones who only got one date of birth, Hello, girl, the ones who got one first name, one middle name, and one last name, girl, it ain't hard to find us. Girl, it ain't hard to find us. It ain't. Anyway, Shell, good luck. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Need you to pay your pussy bill, girl. Okay. Bye, y'all.